guys, welcome back to the garage. How are you guys doing? Uh, today we're going to be working on a stove top cover. We're not actually going to build one for an indoor stove for your kitchen. We're going to be building this one for an RV. Same construction, super, super, super simple. And then we're going to do some graphics on the top, stain it, and then uh, hand it off to the customer. So I hope you guys can stick around and help me make the stove top cover here at the garage. We'll get back and let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do to start off is we need to make a 24 inch square. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, some one by sixes, which ain't really one by six, they're one by five and a half. And uh, we're gonna cut them in 24 inch pieces. I'm gonna need six of them. Then we're going to go over to the table saw, we're going to rip them down and uh, get them to uh, four inches and uh, uh, put them, six of them together to make my bottom panel and then we'll, we need two more for the top. So we're going to cut a total of eight of these 24 inches. So now we want to go to the joiner and before we go to the for the to the table saw I want to uh, make sure that this edge is good flat and straight so before everybody gives me grief the reason why I haven't been making videos lately is because I'm having some back and leg issues and that's why I'm sitting down I'm, go I'm going to be careful when I do this I've done this for months I just haven't been showing it uh, showing it on the on the YouTube but um, I can't stand up very long uh, so I'm gonna be doing this this way I will be safe and uh, that's that so so we're gonna play in the bottom we're gonna look at the board see if there's this one don't have it this was actually a pretty straight board usually you look and see if there's a little bit of an arch I'm gonna exaggerate a crown to where it's you know up on this board it's pretty flat but I'm gonna take all of them through one time and then we'll have it so uh, we're gonna plane them this way and then we're gonna joint one side this way and then we'll put that side up against I'm gonna mark them we'll put uh, that side up against the uh, table saw and uh, cut our pieces so let's get on it. So we flatten out the bottom, we join the side. So these are pretty flat. I, normally I would take them and run them through the planer, but these things are, these boards for some reason are really super flat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the side with the X, run it against that side against the uh, table fence, and then cut our four inch pieces. So next one's going to be over at the table saw and I'll be standing up for that one because that's a dangerous dangerous tool so is this one but it gives me a break on my back so uh, we'll head on over to the table saw and we'll get them cut all right we're back I hope the light behind me is not screwed up so you can't see it but uh, um, now I've got all the boards with the X's on the side that we joined and that's what needs to go up against the fence here also, when we're cutting, 
See how I have my saw blade up real tall like that? Hopefully I got the camera low enough. Just adjust your height to where it's coming, just coming through just a little bit. For one, this saves a bunch of saw uh, dust chips flying at your face and stuff, so that's a little trip. I know I'm supposed to have on my face mask and stuff. I'm in my garage, I'm social distancing from myself, so we'll be fine. It's only a couple boards, and uh, we'll knock these out. And then we will, uh, hang on, get the push stick I like. Uh, once we cut these to four inches, I'm going to do a light sand on them. Then we're going to bust some clamps out and we're going to glue it together. So we're going to cut all eight of these. So here we go. As soon as it stops, this little uh, blade behind the saw blade, I think it's a, called a riving knife, I'm not for sure. But what it does is when the board is passing through, I'm going to put it in. And uh, on the close up, I, I know you can't see the bring the camera. Whoops. Because this knife did what it was supposed to do. As you can see, how the angle of the cut where it gets open and it tightens up, what happened is the board was going tr through true and there was tension on this board here. And what it did is it was pushing back this way instead of out. Some boards will pull out. I've even seen a board split and sometimes they'll tension in. So what happens with this thing does, it does not allow this to tension in so much where it closes the gap so it leaves an even gap in front of it and behind it so that the board doesn't lock up and catch and foot back on you, jerk you forward or whatever. So this little deal on the saw, I've seen guys take these off. My advice, pro tip, keep them on. They will save the board for kicking back on you. That's a pro tip here from the garage. So let's get back. Now we're gonna sand these down a little bit, smooth them up, check and see them how they uh, fit together. Sorry, I'm kind of going back and forth with the camera. And uh, it might be an extreme close up right now. We're gonna see how they fit together. We're gonna do a glue up. Then we're gonna head on in inside and design the graphics for it. So we're getting there, so hang on. All right, we're back. Now we're gonna glue up. I grabbed some clamps for my clamp rack over here. And now we're gonna take these boards. These are the old Harbor Freight clamps. Nothing special, just same old, same old. All right, so uh, with this, all you gotta do is bring the one side up. All right, sorry, I got neighbors talking over there. And uh, then take this with the old glue bot. We got the garage door open, so sorry about all the noise. And we're gonna spread it. Man, we got everybody and his brother coming through here right now.
you want to make sure you get a liberal amount of glue on here because this is what holds this thing together so all right let's take them back <clears throat> push these together now we want this to be we want all of them to be at the the same best as we can get them as even as we can no nope, I don't need any of that stuff I'm talking to my camera guy push that one in for me just push it in this all right grab this last one all right Got my, my uh, nephew with me today. He's helping me behind the camera. Okay. We want to make sure that we got these all pretty even. Alright, now we're going to crank them down a little bit. I don't think that one's going to click, but we'll try it. Nope. Let's push it till it clicks. There we go. Now, before we get them crazy, we're going to try and get them as even as we can, height-wise. All right, so we got a crank there. All right, we got this all going. And I'm going to wipe off the excess glue with some little water. I'm using Type Bond 3. And as you can see, those are pretty flat. And then I'm going to take two more clamps. Push it to me. And we're going to tighten them on the top, leave them flat. One more. Take my rag again. Get off all the glue we can. There's less glue we gotta clean up. We wanna take it. Go on the back side and get as much of this off as we can. You're not gonna get it perfect, but We'll get it for the most part. There we go. All right, and now we got it all glued up. We'll let this dry. We'll come back. We'll sand it. And then we'll put the uh, stain on it, and then we'll do the graphics on it, and then uh, put a clear coat, and she'll be done. So I'm going to take you on the inside, and we're going to design it, cut it on the uh, uh, 
Vinyl cutter, can't talk and think right now. You can tell it's been a while since I've done a video, so. Um, we're gonna do that inside house in the layer where my office is, and then uh, once we get this glued and sanded, we'll have these two that'll kinda That'll sit on the ends on each side and then we'll put our graphics in the middle so we'll see you in a little bit all right so uh, I went over here grabbed the square and we stretched it out and now I got it close let's get a 15 by 15 square all right so now we have our 15 by 15 square. We can move it around, do whatever we want. So let's uh, come up here. Let's make the square a little lighter color, easier to work with. I don't like that color. It's too blue. All right. So let's go into my images. Go to my vertical trace. And in my pictures, I know I have a, uh, a W that I use for uh, something for me. I made one of these... Uh, house signs for me in here and there it is so we'll pick that up open it up make sure everything's nice and smooth and we'll trace it and we will accept it so now we have a W so now what we can do is we can take it pull it make it as big as we can get it inside of this uh, box here So we come down here to the ruler. What we'll do is we'll center it up and down. Then we'll touch the box. We'll center it and up and down. So now it is centered in the box. All right, and what we can do is we come like this, grab the whole box, uh, and we'll blow it up a little bit now so you guys can see it a little easier. All right, then we come over here. Actually, I should have... Uh, let me get this out of the way here. Okay, now we need to come over here. Write his name. So it's uh, W-A-T-K-I-N-S. Let's highlight the Watkins name. Sorry. Right click on your mouse and hit text. So we go there. And let's find it. And uh, I believe this is pretty close to it. So then once we got that, we want to bring it over here. We want to make it big. We want it to fit in the box good. So we can hit this tool again here. We can center this name up in the box. I think I want it to fill out this just out to there and just out to about there. And I actually want to make it just a tiny bit smaller here. So let's center it that way. Center it that way. Let's, let's recenter everything. Center that. And that. Let's hit the box. Actually, we don't even need the box. So let's get rid of it. So what I want to do now... Let's recenter this. Let me click on the W. All right. So I want to, right now, I want to click on the name and I want to pull it up a little bit. Just a little bit more. And there we go. And that will be the name that we cut out for their tabletop thing. So. I'm going to take a picture of this uh, and uh, send it to the customer and if they approve it then I'm going to cut it out then I'll show you how we cut it out and do all the fun stuff so we'll be back in a few let me make a few a few phone calls and see if he likes this so we'll be back all right right now we are going to send it over to the cutter uh, we want to make sure it's not mirrored so that's important and then we're going to hit cut now. 
We're going to hit proceed with cutting. We're going to go over here and watch it go. Sorry about the light, but I gotta be able to see. So basically now, what we wanna do is now that it's with the machine cut out, we wanna go in and get the letters out. So what we do is we take this tool, it's called a picker. We go in and we pick out the letters to the sign. So when we go in to paint, this is what we'll be, be painting. Now that we have this like this, we want to come down here and we have to put, we have to transfer this onto the board. So what we want to do now is we want to put on transfer tape. So what we do, since this is only so wide, I think this is a 10 inch roll. So what we do is we pull it past it, cut a strip. And we take this like this. So it kind of lays out. Then we take a spreader on a, like a, I guess a 45 degrees angle. And you can see how it's adhering to the to the vinyl. So all the air bubbles are out. And it doesn't really matter if we get air bubbles right now. We don't want air bubbles when we put the vinyl down. So right now it really doesn't matter. But uh, so it looks like we got it pretty good. Trying to make a little room here. I have a small work area. I call this, remember I call this my layer. So we need another piece of transfer paper. Then again, we want to kind of drop it so it's kind of sagging. Kind of lay it out. See how we got an air bubble there? You go this way, boom, it's gone. That's why we do it on an angle. It kind of pushes all the air out. You can kind of actually hear it pushing the air out. So we want to make sure it's on here really good. Then we want to come back with our X-Acto knife. We guys make sure we trim it up small enough so that we can get it on the inside of the of the box once we put the two sides on. Don't have to be perfectly straight. It will when we put our graphic on, but right now we just have to. Next, I want that a little closer. I was cutting it left handed. Definitely didn't cut that too straight, so let's straighten it up. And there we go. So hang on, there's our sign. So what we'll do is we'll take this, we'll lay this on our wood, then what we'll do is we come back and we'll peel up both of these layers here. 
and this is the sticky part and this is what I'll stick on the wood and then uh, once we lay this on the wood get it where we want we'll lay it on the wood peel that back stick it down and I'll show you how we do it what we do is we put a piece of tape on each side once we get it where we want it peel up one side cut away the bottom paper here then <clears throat> then lay this down and then we pull the two pieces of tape this will be stuck so we don't have to worry about it moving anymore and then we'll pull this side pull the back of it off take our tool again lay it back flat and then once it's done then we come back and we peel the the, the, the vinyl will be stuck down and then we'll peel the tape back the, the uh, transfer tape back and then it'll we just pull it right off it comes off pretty easy and then uh, so basically this is like a decal that you could put on your car or the side of your truck so if you wanted to hire me uh, to do it I would have left this part of it in and peel and weeded the bottom part and left the design in so but that's how you make vinyls for your truck so or your car or for your business or for whatever which we do so uh, thanks for hanging with me today I know it's been a long day so we're gonna make I, I was thought this was gonna be a really fast video but uh, we're gonna do this in two videos so again sorry it's been so long since I've uh, put out a video um, like I said I've been having some uh, legs and back issue and uh, it's caused me to have to uh, quit my job and uh, and stay home. So uh, uh, and plus, right now we're all home with the you know the thing we're not supposed to talk about. I guess on YouTube they told me not to put it in my video. So uh, everybody's home right now. So I thought even though I'm in a lot of pain, that's why I was sitting down when I was using the joiner. I thought I'd try and get out a uh, video because I haven't done one in like four months. So sorry for the long. Uh, period of inactivity but there was a reason so thanks again for hanging out with me at the garage god bless and we'll see you for part two probably by wednesday we'll have the other part or actually probably thursday or friday by the time i get this so take it easy be safe wash your hands social distancing we love you here from the garage from my family to yours god bless you bye bye